Hi, my name is Brijendra. I am here today to find out what went wrong with this Boost Customers module. Uh, so I have uh, this Boost so sound system lifestyle 48 is not working. So I am here to find out what went wrong, where it went wrong and try to find a solution for that. So I have just uh, disassembled, partly disassembled the rear panel of this Bose. So out of my curiosity, I just wanted to see how the construction was made and where were the amplifiers and what kind of uh, amplifiers and technology is being used. So I found out that as we can see here, uh, these are the three cheap amplifiers. To the best of my understanding and knowledge, these are the three cheap amplifiers which are used. There is no toroid, there is no EI. Two of them, I think these two are for the left and right channels respectively. The left front channel as well as the left surround channel is handled by one of these transistors. The next might be handled by the other right or left any one of the stereophonic left you know uh, front and rear uh, channels but there's some dedicated channel for uh, the center channel the center speaker i think that's by amp mm, in my thinking it uh, to the best guess of mine it's by amp with the subwoofer output um, and uh, so the, here is the AC power um, that goes, that is connected here and that goes uh, to the subwoofer here. Uh, this is some kind of a signal sensing thing, it's cable and uh, so the AC voltage is what uh, uh, went wrong here. Due to the fluctuations as we can see the fuse is still intact. But this film capacitor, you know, this uh, kind of uh, absorbs all the ripple uh, voltages, uh, you know, the, the ripple in the um, AC voltage. So that is what got blown, as you can see. So our job now is to find out uh, through the circuit diagram, find out what is the rating of this particular film capacitor. Uh, and then replace it accordingly. Desolder it and resolder it. And hope everything works fine as it is, as before. Thank you. And credit goes to my father who is actually, uh, you know, recording all of this. Today is uh, the 12th of January. Is it 12th or 11th? 10th. Today is the 10th of January, 2021. And the time is... What's the time? Uh, I don't know. It's evening, late night. These transistors, these chip amplifiers are from Texas Instruments. If I have not mentioned it before, I'm mentioning it again. They are from Texas Instruments. My best guess is uh, each of the left surround and front channels could be sharing a 40 watt power and then the right ones could be sharing uh, yet again 40 so it becomes 80 for both left and right channels and the dedicated one for the center this could be the one this is 80 watts double the power this could be a bridged one with the subwoofer's uh, internal amplifier. I think that might be an EA code. Thank you. This is the heat sink, by the way, for this three chip amplifiers, transistors. This is the heat sink. There will be another one inside here. Inside of this, there will be the amplifier for the subwoofer. 